Maya is about marketing and business. The name is an acronym for most advanced yet acceptable, which describes the reason literally anything is popular in today's culture. It was coined by a man named, bear with me because maybe this isn't pronounced correctly, Raymond Lowy, who is known as the man that shaped America. He is also the father of industrial design. This is probably the most spiritual song on the EP, and I think it best sums up the actual concept. There are a lot of lines that surround it, but I think the third verse explains the idea of the song more than any of the others. There are all these little things floating around that cause snowball effects, right? Every time you solve a problem, you make a new one. Every time you say yes to one thing, you say no to another. It just aims to viciously, yet simply simplistically uncover the imperfections of humankind and just life in general all around the globe. I wrote most of these lyrics watching the film Samsara by Ron Frick, which pretty much inspired this whole EP or its idea to begin with. Originally there wasn't supposed to be any rapping, but when I started getting further into the beat I felt like some sort of an energetic progression was almost necessary. Go in and now we go up and we're down, hey. These are directions that we couldn't live without, hey. This is actually referring to sex. In a very, I suppose, subtle manner, I don't know. But biologically speaking, we are all here really just to survive and reproduce. And when it comes to survival and reproduction, sex is kind of, you need it. When these trans do reveal what expands, I see love and hate suffocating each other where they and to- I think that, what do I think? I don't know what I think. <laughs> a lot of memes and trends, they're very polarizing. That's part of the reason that they become very popular. They either make you feel one way or the other. There's no in-between. You're either on one end or the other end of a spectrum. And those two ends of the spectrum often fight with each other. This explains a lot of the psychology I like to think behind the last election. Dance with the image and twirl it around. Make it prettier while it's falling down. This has to do with the exploitation of artificial beauty. And I think this links very heavily with insecurities that many girls have regarding their appearances. I don't remember the specific numbers, but I do remember hearing in Why Women Have Sex by David Buss that women spend a, a ridiculous amount of money on average on just looking nice and feeling good about themselves. But looking good and feeling good are not the same thing, if you really think about it.